Hi guys, Bob Grinier here, a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I wanted to share with you some of the very extreme beauty that is in this particular image. And I hope later this evening to be able to go to the lab and take some even more uh, detailed images of this particular section. But uh, what you're seeing down here is the inside of the quartz tube. This is where the core of the reactor was. This is the uh, the looking for heat uh, Model T liner. This is supposedly quartz and this is the outside of the quartz tube. And there's a couple of things I want to draw your attention to. Uh, the first is these shoulders-esque type uh, charge cluster bores through at the split plane and they've borne through and then they've gone poof at this poof uh, at this point here. But also we have what appears to be a strange radiation track. Now I won't be able to look at this under the SEM because it's non-conductive quartz and also I won't be able to um, actually fit it in the chamber uh, without significantly breaking this. So what I'm going to try and do on Thursday is maybe get access to the laser microscope and see if we can take a, a really good look into this strange radiation track. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is something I wish you guys had been able to see, uh, but anyway, here it is. Um, this structure here is the same as this structure. It's just a different orientation and it's a, a signature of the process. Uh, you can see this very perfect curve here and this very perfect curve here and this is on the outside of the quartz tube. So uh, I want you guys to think about that and what, what could be going on there. Um, it, the, the, the joy of discovering this uh, uh, will stay with you forever. Um, but uh, um, this is a very, very important picture and I hope to be able to get uh, higher resolution ones. As I was saying earlier today, I want to try and get access to uh, a 5 DSR uh, camera because we'll have nearly three times the number of pixels. Um, but I think probably with the experience I've had over the last uh, week, uh, I should be able to get a better shot of this if uh, it hasn't been damaged in any way. What I might also do this evening is uh, crack the uh, alumina foam open so that we can have a look at the other part of this split uh, reactor sort of fused conglomerate. So I look forward to doing that. It will be on a live stream. Um, and I, like I say, I hope to be able to get to the lab and do that for you this evening.